Let's talk about Omaha High Low. In Omaha High Low, this is a split pot game where one player could win the high hand and one player could win the low hand. In Omaha High Low, you have to have five cards of eight or better or eight or lower to win the low hand. This does not always happen, so you have to watch the five community cards that come out to make sure that there are at least three cards of eight or lower. Let's look and see how this game is played out. For the purposes of this game, I've already dealt the four cards out to each player. These are also called the whole cards, and I've dealt them face up to explain this a little bit easier. Once the four cards are dealt out, it's followed by a betting round, and the dealer will burn one card and deal three cards to the board. These are the first three cards of the community cards, and these are called the flop. Like I mentioned already, in Omaha High Low, you have to have three cards of eight or lower, so right now there's not a low hand on the board. Once the flop is dealt, it's followed by a betting round, and the dealer will burn one card and deal the fourth card to the community card called the turn. As you can see, there's still not three cards of eight or lower, so there's still not a low hand on the board. Once the turn has been dealt, a betting round follows, the dealer will burn the last card and deal the last card to the board called the river. Now, with the seven coming out on the river, this does give us three cards of eight or lower. Therefore, there is a low card or a low hand in, on the board. If we look at this hand over here, this player has an ace deuce. This is the best low hand that can be made with this board using the seven, five, four, two, and ace. He would win half the pot, along with this player over here who had pocket kings, who made trip kings on the turn. And that is how Omaha High Low is played out.